In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the hardest shortcuts in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We'll be going over each of the three pointers from the Master Shortcut Challenge. So yeah, if you're struggling with any of these, here you go. Although I should mention that you should never attempt these shortcuts online. The only shortcut that could maybe be worth going for is the Grubble Volcano ending cut. But even then, you can only do it on lap three. So I'm not sure how worth it it really could be in the long run. However, this could come in handy if you're attempting the Master Shortcut Challenge. You could even use this video as part of the JP Givener analysis power-up to get the tutorial alongside the three tries. But enough rambling, it's time to start Givener. Just before getting started, if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing. It's free, it helps me out a lot, and you can always change your mind. Starting things off, we have level 8, the Sweet Sweet Canyon ending cut. This shortcut is super precise and is honestly the most annoying shortcut out of the three I'll be talking about. Anyway, here's how you do it. You want to begin a left drift as you can clearly see the donut. You're going to charge up a regular mini turbo, mostly by consistently holding wide. While the sequence in which you make the shortcut is pretty straightforward, there is more depth to the shortcut than hopping at the right time. You want Waluigi's head to be in the center of these three... Sprinkles? Smarties? I honestly have no clue what these are, but to keep it simple, let's call these little sons of biscuits dots. You want Waluigi's head to line up in the middle of the dot triangle. You also want to make sure your back wheels are between the pink and blue dot while being a bit closer to the pink dot. Once you have this alignment down, that's your cue to release your mini turbo immediately into a right hop. You cannot take any half measures here by say releasing your mini turbo well before hopping. The sequence has to be in an instant. It's also worth mentioning that you have to hop quite literally right before the off-road. If you don't, then you'll likely clip it and it'll look like this. And this is what will happen if you aim too tight with your back wheels being aligned with the dot triangle I mentioned earlier. This is a super precise shortcut that can take a lot of time to get the hang of. I used to be somewhat consistent at this, but now it takes me quite some time before making the shortcut. It's really tough, no doubt about that. But hopefully this tutorial helps you at least a little bit here. Next up is level 9, the Grumble Volcano Ending Cut. Even though this is a level above Sweet Sweet Canyon, I feel like once you make this shortcut once, it's pretty easy to make it time after time. Although it could be a bit harder to get the hang of. Anyway, you once again are going to perform a mini turbo right before the shortcut, and you want to hold wide for the most part. You need to approach this shortcut from a wide angle. Going into it tight or just a little wide won't get you anywhere. Now, this will take some time to get the hang of, but just before releasing your mini turbo, you want your back wheels to be perfectly in line with the shortcut. Because of the hop sequence after releasing your mini turbo, this is the best alignment. Anyway, once you realize you're in good alignment, release your mini turbo immediately into a right hop, into a neutral hop, into a trick off the ramp. I personally like to shake my controller on the ramp just to ensure I get a trick no matter what. If you don't trick, you will not make it in any scenario. Now, the reason why you want to take a wide approach to the shortcut is that by hopping slightly to the right of the ramp center point, you'll get a lot more air to make the shortcut very easy easily. This isn't the best example because I did make it here, but you can see that I was pretty much in the middle of the ramp's line and I barely got any air. I'm surprised I even made the shortcut to begin with. And this is what happens when you approach it too tight. While you can at least trick off the ramp by approaching the shortcut this way, there's no way you'll be able to land back on the track. But anyway, this is probably the easiest of the three shortcuts, but a very difficult shortcut nonetheless. Lastly, we have the Dolphin Shoals Shroomless Glider Cut. It rightfully earns its placement on level 10, as it is the most precise and hardest shortcut in the game by a long shot. As far as I know, there are multiple approaches to this Shroomless Cut, but here is the one that you must do in the challenge. You want to release your Ultra Mini Turbo right before the ramp before the glider. I like my back wheels to be in line with the right arrow, then trick in between the two arrows. As you land, you want to begin a right drift immediately. Hold a tight drift until you approach the glider ramp, in which you want to perform a left trick. To have the best chance at making this, you want to mash your trick button as you go off the glider to get as low of a glider as possible. Think of it as forcing a low glider without releasing a mini turbo off the glider. Anyway, you want to slightly hold left pretty much the whole way through. As for your vertical stick position, you want to start by holding forward. Vectors are critical to making the shortcut, so start by holding forward and ever so slightly holding left. Right as your trick animation is about to end, maintain your left position on your stick, but then hold back. This should give you a solid vector 
sector, but you are not finished yet. There will come multiple times where you'll be as close as you can get to landing back on the track. The first time you come in contact with the tip of the track, as shown here, you want to position your stick even closer to 180 degrees vertically. While you still want to hold left to make it through, holding back is the most important thing you can do here. Once the track goes on a slight downhill, you're good to go and are free to align however you want. Do not expect to make this shortcut first try though. This is an excruciatingly hard shortcut to pull off. You'll have attempts where you're not even close, attempts where you seem like you're getting somewhere, and attempts where you just barely land back on the track. But with enough practice, you could even go on to make the shortcut in the Master Shortcut Challenge. So, good luck! I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, I'd recommend using this video as a guide if you want to use your JP Givener analysis power-up in the Master Shortcut Challenge. The link to that video is on the top left, as you probably noticed that well before I brought it up. But yeah, this video is here when you need it. And once again, please do not tempt these online. These shortcuts are all but worth it. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And keep on giving her, bud.